Hey everyone, hope you're doing good. I'm out again in uh, Mufon land, amazing area. Uh, just come from work and uh, this whole day screamed uh, go out in nature. And so uh, that's what I do. Uh, I'm out here for an overnighter. I don't have a lot of stuff with me so I took off my shirt because uh, it's from it's made from cotton and cotton is not drying very well. And I'm not going to do uh, a fire tonight. Of course, uh, uh, just some some kilometers uh, down there uh, uh, in the direction to the west. There was a, a huge uh, forest fire uh, caused by a cigarette butt thrown away, and uh, so I'm sure. They're yeah, checking the area for <laughs> for smoke and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, horrible. About five acres of, uh, of forest is destroyed out there. Or, I mean, it's destroyed. I mean, it will come back, but it's gone for now. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's see what this brings. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm just here uh, uh, going to see what, uh, what Mother Earth throws at me. I do have a wool blanket with me and a wool pullover and this is about it. So let's see. Beautiful day. Let's see if we can what we can do with that. I'm gonna settle down around here. And there are some, some fallen spruce trees. So I think I'll I'll make a little a little a little bed and stuff it with this grassy stuff. So I think this this would be would be really nice for having a shelter or for having just a a raised bed a little bit. There's so much fallen debris. Maybe I'll just stay here. Yeah, okay, here's what I got with me. This is the bag. I brought everything up with me. I have one hooded hooded wool pullover, one wool jacket. There's the food supplies <laughs> with smoothie and uh, an avocado. Uh, some water. I will as well go and get some water later. Uh, this is the shirt I brought and I have a hat with me. I found this in the back. <laughs> I'm crazy. Crazy like I am. I brought stones with me. These are some hammer stones I, I got from, from, a, from a guy in the USA, Elliot. And some stone. So I'll just sit down there uh, at one of those uh, those beds. One of those uh, uh, either either one fallen tree, some some ditch in there, and uh, I will f nap some some flakes off of these. Amazing stuff. Okay, Let's see what we can do. This is amazing stuff. It's really, it's really uh, flexible. So you, you won't have uh, the, you know, you won't have to care about uh, branches sticking in your back and stuff like that. It's really, really amazing stuff to build this bed with. And there's nothing you need to, to cut off from trees or whatever. You just get it in the lane around here. In huge, huge, huge piles. And the next morning you just shadow them around again and you're gone. Nobody knows you're there. All right, people. I do have now about five centimeters thickness, uh, thickness of uh, uh, like uh, branches, like small twigs, uh, the whole length of, uh, of my sleeping place. And now I'm going to to add about this amount of grass all over the sleeping place. 
I'll see if this if this uh, will keep me warm a little from the ground. Yeah, so far I have not seen any tick on me. So let's see. This is a good sign or not. Maybe they do come at night. Or maybe there's uh, still frost in the morning, but we'll see. So uh, make sure you have uh, at least this amount of, uh, of uh, grass on top of the, of the weaving of the branches. And uh, yeah, with the wool blanket I think I'm okay. But I will let you know. <laughs> Later. Alright, so. Okay, you saw the, the grass before. I filled it up the whole length jumped into it and lay there for about five minutes then got it again this amount and this is what I end up with wow. this is amazing oh, I just saw the spider here I'm sorry to interrupt you oh this is a, a jumping spider amazing so we'll have a lot of uh, those people down here sorry you need to go up here. Whoa. Oh my god, oh, this feels great. I'll make a, I'll make some, uh, get some more grass for a pillow, and then in the night, I just sleep in between the the sheet and the. Uh, awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, this is oh, this is so comfy. This is really amazing. Oh. <laughs> It's much softer than the, the, the mattress we have at home. Okay, some more grass to be sure. And then we go up, last sun, sun rays, absorb them, get some water, and we're good for the night. All right. Oh, this looks amazing. At least to me. Whoa, it's really... Whoa, amazing. <laughs> Sorry, this is really great. All right. Oh. Oh. oh, you can feel the, the cold breeze around here. Like all over my body, but nothing from the, from the ground. This is... Wow. Okay, there's one area which is a little bit higher than the other ones but oh, great, looking forward all right and the, the great thing is uh, nothing from this uh, on this bed is uh, is cut or, or or torn torn apart you know it's it's all just gathered and combed out all this this grass is just it's just it's not hanging on anymore you know you just comb it out and you have a lot of stuff okay so, let's move into the sun. Sun will be soon gone. Oh, here it is. Maybe these are rams. Okay, let's see. That was quite, quite a noise, I would assume. Two rams would hit each other with their horns, but they're too far up. I'm going to enjoy the sun now. And this is the spot I will nab into. Looks amazing. All right. Okay. Now testing, testing the setup. Oh, this is great. Took this in. Throw this over. Oh, really great. I as well did uh, wrap my feet in. This should work quite good. Maybe a little. I did fill my shoes with uh, the grass to dry them out from the sweat. It's 
see if this works. <laughs> Back at the, at the spot. Going to eat my avocado now. And uh, settling in here and uh, listening into the forest. Watching the birds go to sleep. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Or you will see me tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, guys and girls. Slowly, the colors are coming back. Wow, what a beautiful night. It was quite chilly, I have to admit, but it did work amazingly. Uh, maybe next time I take a, a thicker outer layer with me, another, another blanket or whatever. But it was great, I slept very well. <laughs> First uh, I thought I, I couldn't find sleep because it was so exciting around here. There were foxes hunting each other or chasing each other up and down the mountains. There was a rodeo barking down there somewhere and uh, in the beginning and somewhere in the middle there was uh, a tawny owl screaming. That was amazing. Really great. And <laughs> Sometime in the middle of the night, I was uh, awakening from a dream I had, and uh, I dreamt that I uh, had another encounter with the mooflin, and I was laying there, I was laying there, and and, and thought about it, and said, oh, "Man, this wasn't this was no dream. <laughs> I actually saw the mooflin yesterday again." So. <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> I was just telling you that the, the I, I assumed the ranch would be much more up. And the further I went down here to this uh, fallen tree, the more I got the feeling I will be able to see them. Amazing. All right. Thanks for being with me. I will now pack together, pack my stuff, pack together, pack my stuff and move. I'm going to work. All right. See you next time. All right. Everything's packed again. Spread, spread all those twigs and, and uh, grass around in the area. Good ideas. So nobody can pick it up from the surroundings. There's not this twig pile in here. Yeah, quite broken. Right, on we go. Looks amazing. As it turns out, uh, do you have, uh, let's see, 
one degree Celsius down here and uh, so I assume it may have been a little less up there so quite about freezing nice so I'm I think uh, I'm pretty much good off with this uh, bull plank in a normal spring situation all right <laughs>